Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you had a very beautiful week. So today on this page, we're going to be talking about yoga that will help improve sexual pleasure. Yes, you heard me right. Yoga that will help improve sexual pleasure. So yoga can not just be used to gain body flexibility, toning of the muscles, or calming down anxiety and all that. There's more to yoga than just that. And today, I'm going to be sharing all that with you. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go to the mat. So the first pose I'm going to be doing this morning is called the cat cow pose. Now, cat cow pose is a very very interesting pose. So you want to come on all fours. You want to come on all fours. Plant both hands on the mat and gently inhale. Pull up the lower half of your hip towards your belly button and exhale. Look up towards the ceiling. Deep into your back and lift up the face. Once you do that again, gently lift up the lower abdomen and look towards your belly button and back. Now, one thing about cat cow pose is that every single person can do it. Whether you are a beginner, you are intermediate level, or you are at an advanced yoga level, every single person can practice this pose. Now, one thing about cat cow is that he has a way of putting up the lower abdomen and gently sending down blood to the pubic areas. And secondly, it has a way of walking through the line of symmetry, which is our spine, where you're doing your offers, has a way of, of making them feel a little bit released from tension. Now, the second pose I like to share on how to improve your sexual pleasure is our bone and the pose. So you want to stay reclined. You want to stay reclined on and so what one angle does is that it's a hip opener. But well, apart from being a hip opener is that it has a way of coming down the mind. And we all know that when you are very, very tense, when you have anxiety, when you have fear, you can only really have that very sweet sexual experience. So this small, this particular pose has a way of opening the hips, opening the hips, releasing, releasing tension out of the hip, and then it has a way of relaxing the mind. So one angle is a very good pose to help improve the sexual experience. Now the next pose I'm going to be talking about, which is the third pose, is half vision. So half vision is a very deep focus. Now we do tense up all the time because we sit down for a long time, but this part of our body is a part that needs to consciously be active. Become activated. So when you learn how to activate this part of the body, it has a way of engaging and it has a way of releasing tension. So gently plant both foot on the mat and just come with the half vision. You can come all the way down, right the line, and just be there. And gently you can come back up. Remember to repeat for the other side. Now the next pose to help improve our sexual pleasure is. Bridge pose. So in bridge pose, you want to come all the way down to the mat. All the way down to the mat. So lift, lift, lift. Hips are up, waist is up, lower abdomen is engaged, and your foot is standing planted on the mat. And you're almost coming to your shoulders. Now, this pose has a way of helping you stay aligned, has a way of helping you stay creative, even if you want to try it in the other room. But not just that, it has a way of creating that sensitivity around this part of your body. So bridge pose is a very good pose to improve your sexual encounter. And now the next pose we're going to be doing in order for us to end this practice is our straddle split. So straddle split, any single person can practice straddle split, regardless of who you are or what you do. So, you can either take the one for intermediate level, come close, go down. Or you can just go all the way if you feel like you have it. I can go all the way. Or you have to be of gently stimulating the pendulum muscles. So you could just be here, relax, come back up, breathe into your muscles, inhale, release it. Now, what Stratospeed does is that, just like the other ones we do, Constantly letting go of tension around this area, constantly allowing the blood to flow down towards the pubic muscles, and constantly being conscious of all these things will help to calm it down. Now, like I said, 
around all the time calling Kejo Moses. Now, what are Kejo Moses? Kejo Moses are those ones around the public areas that when they become activated, they help us to have a better sexual experience. This is more lasting and impactful orgasm. And also for women who have had children, activating your Kejo Moses has a way of making the, the lower part of the body, the vagina, to be very, very tight. And it also has a way of making you hold the way. Like, how to practice schedule module, how to activate your schedule module. Number one, when you go to the toilet and you want to use yourself, like you have to almost go. Just stop that, stop it from flowing. You feel like there's a contraction there, and then release it. Constantly, cautiously, and um, mindfully activating the schedule modules has a way of helping us to constantly gain control of our own sexual experience. In that, indirectly, he has a way of massaging those muscles, activating them, and helping them get ready to have a very, very beautiful sexual experience. And you can do one, one thing about schedule exercises that you can practically do it anyway. For instance, you can watch your TV, you activate your schedule muscles. Or you could be you could actually be having your bath, you can activate your and even if you're having sex, you can also activate your ketchup muscles. Thank you so much for watching this video and please remember to subscribe. Tell me what you think about this video. Click on the post notification so you know when I upload new videos and please check out my social media. All the links are below via Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you so much and I'll see you in my other videos. For now, bye.